guys, um, I wanted to uh, just talk with you. You guys, I've been going through your messages today and reading through some of the things that y'all are sending me. I love it. I love connecting with you. I love reading about what's going on in your life. And I love that you guys share with me what's going on in your life. And um, for some reason, the Lord has, has allowed me to be able to speak into you. And I don't take that lightly. And it's an honor for me to be able to do that. Um, and I really weigh out every word that I say. So uh, I don't just talk to talk. I make sure that what I'm telling you, um, I've prayed about it. I've prayed into it and that I know that, you know, I'm accountable for every word I speak before God. And, um, that's not something that I take lightly, nor should anyone, but, uh, here's the deal. A lot of you ask me about relationships and, uh, I, I just want to talk to you for a minute. I want to give you some truth. Ladies, this is geared more towards you men. You could probably take something from it as well, but sisters, I'm going to speak to you. So listen up. All right, ladies, the man that God has for you, not the man you have for you, the man God has for you will pursue you. You do not need to pursue that man. Listen, sis, if you're all up on his Instagram and his Facebook and his Twitter tweeting or whatever, all that stuff as I don't even know, but if you are constantly liking and posting and this and that to get that man's attention, there's something wrong because here's the deal. The man that God has for you will pursue you at the right time. Listen, the right thing at the wrong time is still the wrong thing. So you need to be pursuing God, not pursuing a man and that the right time the Lord will present you to that man and he will begin to pursue your heart. You do not need to make yourself readily available because here's the honest truth, is if you are liking and posting and putting yourself in front of his face every single second of every single day, guess what that's called? Desperation. That's no bueno, we don't like that, that's not good. You are a woman of worth, okay? You need to understand that first before you throw yourself at any man or think that you should, you never should, number one. But number two, you need to know your worth. You are a daughter of the king, bottom line, and until you understand that, God's not gonna allow you to bring another man because you're gonna suck the life out of him depending on him to validate you. Sis, your validation comes from God, that's it. And we need to get that understood first, right? So why God is, is, is preparing you and doing things in your life, you need to pursue God with everything you have right now and don't ever stop. That doesn't stop once he brings that man. In fact, it elevates and you begin to pursue God even more with him in purpose and agreement and unity. I love you guys so much, but I see so many women making themselves look really foolish and they throw themselves at these guys and it's like, dude, enough. We need to stop this. Ladies, the word of God says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Guess what that means? You're the prize. You are. God will bring you a king when he knows you are fit to complement that king, okay? Stop throwing yourself at every single man you think God said your husband. Listen, if you have to force it to work, it's not God. Bottom line, God will make it work his way in his time, okay? Know your worth. You're worth the wait. Let the man pursue you when the time is right, okay? I love you guys so much. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.